soldiers of different nations come together in training exercises to build a working bond. It was to create a medical alliance with the people of Africa. U.S. Army Africa-led medical training exercise 14-4 was a surgical care focused practice for U.S. and Tanzanian military doctors and nurses. Yeah, we're standing at Lagalo Hospital in Tanzania, which belongs to the Tanzanian Army. A team of nurses, surgical technicians, a nurse anesthetist, paramedics, and physicians from the 936 Forward Surgical Team out of Paducah, Kentucky, traveled to Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, to give the Tanzanian military surgical team training and education on surgical equipment and cases. In the past two weeks, we have been able to collaborate with the Tanzanians. We've operated with them. We have done uh, emergency surgery cases with them. We have done C-sections with them. We have done orthopedic cases with them. The learning portion of the trip wasn't one way. For some, this was the first time they have worked in such an austere environment. I learned from them how to do some things different if I had limited resources and I was going to be somewhere else with limited resources and not what we're used to having as a fast team, a core surgical team. The two-week course ended with a ceremony and tokens of appreciation from Brigadier General Peter L. Corey, Deputy Commander for U.S. Army Africa. For U.S. Army Africa, I'm Army Sergeant Renee Wilson. He changed it at all.